We've all heard of Iceland, but it's unfortunately not an island that's covered in ice, as you may think. If you want a place that's completely made of ice, you're going to have to go all the way to China instead. That's right, there is a city in China that took $4 billion to make, and it's made completely of ice. Let's take a look. So China may be known to the world mainly as a manufacturing hub with factories for everything under the sun and a trade behemoth, but this city in China actually has something else under its sleeves too. Located in the northern Heilongjiang province, which is China's northernmost province, this city is called Harbin. It's the capital of the province and in 2017 it earned up to 117 billion won or 10 billion US dollars all from tourism. This makes tourism the second industry in the city, which otherwise is known for being an industrial base for the country and serves as a key political, economic, scientific, cultural, and communications hub in northeast China. Harbin has plenty of natural ice and snow reserves, and you can bet it makes terrific use of it. While Harbin has been having snow-related events since at least 1963, with its first ice lantern fair, followed by an ice and snow festival in 1985, it's only in 1999 that the local government took the initiative and built a Harbin Ice and Snow World, a theme park containing snow sceneries and magnificent snow sculptures, in a bid to welcome the incoming millennium. With a massive area of 800,000 square meters, this theme park has catapulted Harbin into a prime snow art destination, with modern mechanized tools and precise sculpting giving visitors breathtaking and magnificent views to enjoy. As of 2018, the Ice and Snow Festival alone earned Harbin $4.4 billion a year from a whopping 18 million visitors. The official dates for the festival are from January 5th until late February, but it often starts earlier and extends beyond. All this is made possible by the winter weather where the average temperature is 16.8 degrees with lows of 25 degrees not uncommon. Such weather is made possible by freezing winter winds from Siberia. For the exhibition of the ice sculptures, two main areas are usually chosen, albeit ice sculptures generally erect all over the city. These include Sun Island, which is an area on the opposite side of the Songhua River and Ice and Snow World, which is the theme park first built in 1999 and rebuilt every year to feature the biggest ice sculptures made from two foot to three foot thick blocks of ice, all illuminated in beautiful colors. This festival also holds the record for the biggest ice sculpture ever erected in the Guinness Book of World Records for a sculpture that consisted of the Niagara Falls and the crossing the Bering Strait, the latter depicting the migration of the First Nations, which was 250 meters long, 28 feet high, and used over 13,000 cubic meters of snow. This was done for the Canada theme of the 2007 Ice Festival in honor and memory of Norman Bethune, a Canadian doctor and communist who is well honored in China for his contributions to medicine in rural China and to the Chinese Communist Party. At the 35th annual festival held in 2019, the festival included ice sculptures by artists from 12 different countries. Taking up 600,000 square meters, the Harbin Ice and Snow World was the most popular attraction, including more than 100 landmarks. 10,000 cubic meters of ice and 120,000 cubic meters of snow was used for the construction of the sculptures. The sculptures found at the festival feature everything from the ancient mythical creature Sphinx, body of a lion, head of a human, to busts of Chairman Mao's face, to busts of Buddha meditating, possibly in Nirvana, or buildings and monuments of all sorts of architectural styles and types, as well as recreational structures such as ice slides and slippery dips. The frozen surface of the Songhua River is the mine for the raw ice, which then is carved into ice blocks using swing saws. However, deionized water can also be used, producing ice blocks as transparent as glass to make clear sculptures rather than translucent ones. Then the sculptors, also known as ice miners, hundreds of them, take it from there. They use a variety of tools such as chisels and ice picks, all kinds of saws. The sculptors work all day starting early morning about 6 a.m., sometimes working overtime till 8 or 9 p.m. or even later. Now, most of these sculptors are normally farmers or construction laborers in their usual occupation. During work, they wear knee-high rubber boots, down jackets, thick gloves and hats with flaps to protect their ears from the freezing temperatures. After the sculptures are built, they are fitted with bright multicolored lights to give a spectacular and vibrant appearance to the final sculpture 
which especially stands out at night. The Sarban Ice Festival has continued to take place year after year to exhibit magnificent works of art to tourists around the world and has contributed to making Harbin Ice and Snow Festival one of the world's premier winter celebrations, joining the ranks of the Sapporo Snow Festival in Japan, Canada's Quebec Winter Carnival, and Norway's Homonolken Ski Festival. So what do you think of this magnificent ice city? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.